Or you'll go to the grocery store high, which isn't a good idea. Spend three hours, yeah, fucking. I spent two hours in front of the orange juice section trying to decide how much pulp content. Why are there so many goddamn choices? Why? It's one simple juice, and there's an entire wall devoted to this one fucking juice. And people get so fucking crazy about it. People are diehards, man. Like, where are my no pulpers at? <laughs> Pussies. Yeah, they can't even, can't even find the energy to woo. They're just so fiber deficient with your no pulp pussy ass. <laughs> Then we got some pulp. Where are my some pulpers? Yeah. Fucking pick a side. <laughs> Little wishy-washy. Got lots of pulp. Where are my lots of pulpers? Oh, yeah. That always gets the biggest woo. They confuse it. Yeah, I like to chew my liquid. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm sitting there looking. Then we got nothing but pulp. I'm like, I'm pretty stoned, but that's just a fucking orange, right? <laughs> Trying to charge me $14 for an orange. I don't think so, Whole Foods. Not today. Not today. I was, buy, I was buying orange. Nothing but pulp. It's based on a true story, that joke. It's true. A few days after that Whole Foods run, I got a text from my bank asking if that purchase was fraudulent. And that hurt my fucking feelings. Because I have way more suspicious activity on my credit card they could have asked me about. <laughs> right? I've been drunk at 7-Eleven at 3 o'clock in the morning and spent more than $40 several times. <laughs> Not a peep from Bank of the West. <laughs> One $16 purchase at Whole Foods, they're checking in on me to make sure I'm okay. <laughs> Just making sure I wasn't mugged by some trophy wife in yoga pants. <laughs> with a mean kombucha addiction she's trying to take care of. <laughs> identity theft, that's no joke, man. I actually had my identity stolen. I woke up one day and I had three charges on my credit card that were not mine. And I knew they weren't mine because they were all in South Carolina. I've never even been to South Carolina before and they were at places I had never heard of. Is anybody from the South or spent any time in the South? Okay, you can confirm if these places are real. It's not a trap, I promise. There was a, a $50 charge at a place called Sheets that I've never heard of. She that's a real place? What is it? It's a gas station that has, like, mozzarella It's a gas station with mozzarella sticks? Because it sounds like they sell fucking Sheets. <laughs> Which in the South sounds a little fucking racist. If you're going to be... That far below the Mason-Dixon line, maybe Sheets is the wrong fucking name. At least 20% of you agree. We'll move on. Uh, there was a $50 charge at a place called the Food Lion I had never heard of before. Food Lion. That's like a grocery store, I guess, right? And there was a $50 charge in an AutoZone. I've heard of AutoZone. They have those here. Here's the thing. I couldn't even get mad. I'm looking at those three charges, and I'm just like, Phew. This dude spent my money way more responsibly than I was going to. <laughs> like, if you think about it, he didn't get out of hand with it. No purchase over $50 at, in at very normal places. What did he do? He went and got gas for his car, right? He went to the grocery store, got some groceries for his family. Went to an auto parts store probably to fix his car so he could take his kids to school. Probably got his wife off his ass for a couple days. I'm like, fuck it, dude. Let's do this again sometime. <laughs> right? Because the best part is, we all know this, once the bank finds out it's fraudulent charges, you don't pay a dime, right? Why are we doing this every day? <laughs> like, these are hearts. We all need to get pen pals on the other side of the country and do nothing but exchange credit card information. Yes, thank you. Yes. That's... Then once a year, go out and make some very reasonable charges. Don't be a dick and ruin it for everybody, okay? They get what, you, what they need, you don't pay a dime, and it fucks over a bank. That's a win-win-win situation if I've ever heard one in my life. Thank you. Thank you. The revolution starts here. Thank you. I can always tell the demographic of the crowd at the end of the joke, because if they're poor like me, they're like, yeah, the revolution starts here! If they have money, like this table here, they're like, we're okay, but good luck with your little scam there, pal. <laughs> Thank you.
We're going to stick with our careers and good life decisions, if that's okay with you, sweetie. Aren't you the bitch that stole my credit card? Aren't you the...